Today, I'm going to show you how you can install and configure the AWS CLI, the command line interface on macOS. The AWS CLI is a terminal-based tool that you can use to access all your resources inside of your AWS accounts without having to use the web-based interface, the AWS Management Console. So let's get right to it. Right now, I'm in my terminal, and I'm going to curl HTTPS AWS CLI dot Amazon AWS dot com slash AWS CLI V2 dot package and output it to AWS CLI V2 dot package. And I'm going to put that down in the a description. Press return. It's downloaded the file. You can see it here. And next, I'm going to sudo installer package the AWS CLI v2 dot package, and the target will be the root directory. Type in my password, press return, and now it's installing. And here we go. So the next thing I'm going to do is type in which AWS. It's been installed here. And AWS dash dash version shows me the CLI has the version 2.134 and it's using Python 3.8.8. So now I'm going to try and call the AWS API using AWS STS get caller identity. And this is a command that tries to figure out who I am, so which key I'm using. And it's unable to locate the credentials. You need to configure credentials by running AWS configure. I type in AWS configure. And it's going to ask me for an AWS access key ID. And to get that, I'm going to the AWS management console. Up there in the menu, I click on my name, go to security credentials. And as you can see, I'm logged in with the username Dennis Traub. I scroll down to the access key section, create access key. And now here I've got an access key ID. This has been created for me. I will copy and paste. Press return, and it's asking me for the secret access key, which is hidden here. And this really is a secret and shouldn't be shared. Copy that, paste it. And next, it's going to ask me for the region. I'm using EU Central 1, which is Frankfurt. You can use whatever suits you. And I use JSON as my default output format. If I type AWS STS get caller identity again, now it's using these credentials and it's showing me a user ID. Close that, go back up and back to the terminal. And you can see I'm logged in as user Dennis Traub, which is the same that I have here. And that's it. This is how you install and configure the AWS command line interface, the CLI on macOS. I'll put all the links in the show notes. Please like and subscribe. See you in the next video. Goodbye.